I'm Kitty from Transgroom and today it's all about thinning scissors. So at the end of the video you know exactly how to use a thinning scissor in a correct way. That's why I'm here for you. I will explain to you the working of the blender scissor because if you want to buy a blender scissor, it's for cutting, it's on a natural way, you scissor the hair. And this is a blending scissor with 48 teeth, this is a blender scissor with 28 teeth. So how more teeth you have, how perfectly and smoother you can scissor. The right way to hold a blending scissor is you use your ring finger and your thumb. Don't put the scissor at the end of your fingers because your hand will crumb up and you cannot use or scissor smoothly a long coated wig. Just hold it at the beginning of your fingers and just move your thumb. Don't push with your thumb or pull with your ring finger because if you do that, you will open the blades of the thinning scissor and the thinning scissor will be stuck. So don't use it very wide open. Just use it very slowly, very smoothly, and don't push or don't pull. So what can happen if you push or pull? This is what happens. The first two teeth will be bent or broken and your scissor will be blocked. You don't have to work with the thinning scissor, but the thinning scissor works with you. Get very smooth, have a good hand, and just open your thumb very smoothly. Don't open too wide because if you open too wide, too much hair will go in and you get an ugly result. You have to use a, a blending scissor, it's for long coated breeds. And if you open too wide and you have to push on your, your scissor, you get an ugly result and that's not okay. This was Kitty for Transgroom TV about how to hold your thinning scissor correctly. More videos are coming up, so subscribe at Transgroom TV. See you next time. Bye bye.